I welcome you all to Zibedji's blog. Today's gist is about Pastor Rabo Wisdom. He preached about 10 foolish things we do about faith. Kindly watch and be blessed. Thank you. 10 foolish things we do in the name of faith. Number one, going to fight the devil in his territory when you are not in right standing with God and your fire level is very low. It is not faith. It is foolishness. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? Number two, not doing anything to put food on your table in the name of God we provide. It's not faith. You know why? The Bible said, he who does not walk, let him not eat. Second Thessalonians 3.10 He who does not walk, let him not eat. My daughter, any man that tells you wants to marry you, the first thing you will ask him is, what do you do for a living? Don't marry problem. I say, Papa, I say marry by faith. Number three, not avoiding anything and everything that is not good for your health, not good for your body. Your body is the temple of the living God. It is not faith for you to be licking ice block and say you have faith. You're going to lick ice block. Some people chop ice block like food. They chop ice block like food. Why would you have limonia? It's not faith. To destroy your body and say you have faith. It's not faith. Know what is good for your body. Number four. Borrowing money without, a pro without having a project and without having a plan to pay back the money. And also borrowing above your capacity to pay and also taking new debts when you have a debt that is currently running taking new one when you have not paid the old one number five refusing medical diagnosis and prescription when you are sick even when you don't have enough faith to reject it Josh, look at me any day you fall sick don't apply faith your faith has failed if you really have faith, you won't fall sick in the first place. Any time you fall sick, don't come and be saying, I'm not going to take malaria drugs. I'm not going to treat typhoid. I'm not going to treat anything. I have faith. Where was your faith when the sickness came? The presence of faith is to ensure the sickness will not come. If the sickness come, you don't have faith. Number six marrying the wrong person and expecting the person to change after marriage is a sign of foolishness not faith people don't change after marriage people remain the same after marriage in fact they will improve on whatever they are after marriage don't use your hand and marry problem and come and disturb my peace in the name of counseling it's not faith number 17 we do that we call faith that is not faith eating with an enemy that God has revealed to you and be thinking that that enemy cannot harm you. Jesus said, one of you who dip your hand with me in the bowl, the same shall betray me. Somebody look at me. If God has revealed your enemy to you, don't have any kind of faith to still relate with the enemy. He will kill you. He will die free of charge. No bad. Eight, as we round up, eight. Not saving and investing something aside for the future. In the name of you have faith that your tomorrow is bright. There is no bright tomorrow without a savings and then an investment for the tomorrow that you see. Number nine, doing so many projects at the same time. When you don't even have the capacity to finish one. Doing so many projects at the same time. When you don't even have the capacity to finish one. You they do this, you they do this, you they do this, you they do this. They do this, they do this, they do this. You don't even have the capacity to finish one. But we are doing about ten. It's foolishness, it's not faith. If you want to marry this year, marry, leave house. You want to build house this year, build house, forget marriage. You want to buy land this year, buy the land, forget house. Forget other things. You want to buy a car this year? Buy the car. Always use one year to achieve something. I have a policy of every year will help me to remember something I achieve. One. One major achievement. One major landmark every year. Not you put one for this one. Put one for that one. You put one for this one. And you don't have the capacity. 
When you see anybody doing two, three, four things at the same time, and he's doing all at once, and no one is suffering, he has the capacity to handle it. Don't go and join them. Number 10. Attempting only big things when you have not ever, when you have never proved your faith on small issues. Attempting big, big things. Don't always jump into big things when you have not tried small one. You want to build two plants? Go and build bungalow first. You want to go to Dubai to buy goods? Go to Nita first. Go to Nita, go to Kotunu, go to Lagos first. Thanks for watching. Kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe.